Hey, what's going on YouTube enthusiasts? If you've tuned in to this video or any others, I'm assuming you have an EM2 or some type of old Honda. And recently my car has been leaking oil like a dog pissing on every bush as it walks past the neighbor's yard. Let's put this thing on some jack stands and operate. So as I'm pulling everything apart and cleaning up, I didn't mention that the week before, I pulled this tranny out and replaced the input shaft bearing. The seals needed to be replaced, but I went against my better judgment and I let them in. That was a huge mistake because the leaks, they got way worse. This time around, I ordered two new seals for each axle and one seal for the input shaft bearing. and. I went with all OEM Honda Sills. So all I'm doing right here is cleaning off the old ceiling. I picked up this head from Harbor Freight that was basically a scuff patch shaped as a ball. The packaging claimed it was 180 grit and I gotta say it worked pretty well.
years later, hoping it's still going to pay them. And I'm sure it's paying them okay. Uh, they got some explicit deals, but my God, it's just, uh, my God, how lazy and just... But anyway... Right here I'm using a cheap RTV sealant from Harbor Freight. It's supposed to be their highest temperature one they offer, but if you have Honda Bond on hand, or if you have the extra cash to order it, I highly recommend it. This sealant that I'm using, it's holding so far, but I don't know how it will hold up in the long run. I've ordered Honda Bond, so anything in the future that I plan to put together, that's what I will be using.
this point, axle sills, input shaft bearing, and seal are replaced. As well as the oil pan gasket. Now I'm just checking for leaks. There is a drip, but it's from the AC condensation. So I think we're good.